hope you guys are doing super, super fantabulous. I wanted to do a special greeting for you guys this month because I have been so far behind on videos. I took some time for healing, guys. I'm rested. I'm feeling great. Tapping into new gifts that I'm getting and new ideas. And it's been a blessing and a journey. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient with me and sending me all your nice little letters and stuff or like emails. I'm old school. I said letters, right? So thank you. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love, guys, coming your way. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update of what's going on astrologically. We have quite a few things, like not this week, but next week, like the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, like all these little notes I got right here. So on the 14th, Jupiter is entering into Scorpio, sextile Pluto into Capricorn. And what does that mean for you? It's going to be a time of challenges, like all the challenges you've been facing. How are you going to use those to transform? How are you going to use those to change? So that's going to be a big thing coming up. The next day is Mercury retrograde is going direct. Oh, yes, big baby yes it's going to be in the right way <laughs> so don't worry it's still gonna be throwing us some shade we've got the shadow phase going on on the 16th we have a new moon in aries and this is going to be about i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what i mean yes little boosty we do okay it is time to put our independent goals and go at it with the force of the ram okay so we had all that energy this month and uh, ram energy is hardcore baby but now the moon is bringing it in and it's a new moon so this is about initiating that change and doing new things on the 17th <laughs> big daddy saturn is going retrograde baby in capricorn until the 6th of september and this is about discipline where where are the areas that you need to see change what are you going to do and how are you going to do it it's very important get that shit in order <laughs> and on this on the 20th the sun enters into taurus all right and the 22nd Big bad Pluto's gonna go retrograde, baby. Where in Capricorn? So think about what Capricorn represents. Think about what Pluto represents. Look at it where it's in your chart. I'm not an astrologist. Please don't ask me to, to decipher because I can't. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning, but I can't, all right? So with that being said, I tapped into the collective. I will be doing something new in your videos, guys. They are gonna come out in sections. I finally had some assistance and I have some, some help so I can knock out a few videos at a time, but then I gotta take a break and I gotta remember meditate and I got to tap back into my to my core center okay so you will be getting a channeled message before your video not one of these but a specific channel message that I asked what does this sign need this month what is their focus and you'll get that along with the mind body and soul as well as what the hell is going on all right with a tarot now I had two cards that wanted to come out for the beginning. I used my pendulum. I made sure that this is how it was going to be. And the card that came out from the Sacred Power deck by Anna Stark, okay, my, my fave, is change. So take a moment, and I want you to look at what he's walking away from. There's on one side, I always say it's the root chakra, all that red. And on the green, that's your heart. And in the center, that's all that blue, right? It's your voice. It's time to speak up. The changes are coming. But are you willing to make those changes? And I think that's what Saturn and Pluto are going to really make us focus in on this month, is are we going to do it, and are we going to do it with the tenacity of Taurus, okay? So what are you willing to change? You see that full moon right there on the 30th? of april we will be having a full moon in scorpio it's gonna be all about what do you want and what you're gonna do to get a big baby <laughs> all right so change is change is coming when i asked what's gonna guide us through the change i use the native spirit deck love this okay and it was from our ancestors what i want you to notice is the brightness in there that is your solar plexus energy coming through but how do our ancestors talk to us they talk to us through our dreams and mine have been off the chain and for all my little clients i've been dreaming about me baby i've been dreaming about you too we connected <laughs> and it's so cool to read your emails and your text messages like oh my gosh i dreamt you too so it's great that i have this connection with you guys and i'm so so thankful but ancestors speak to us through number sequences feathers um, songs on the radio, animals. And so be open and be willing to kind of put the puzzle pieces together because sometimes my guides talk to me in riddles and I have to like be like, what, what does that mean? Like, I don't know. And once I sit with it for a while, I meditate on it, sometimes write it down, look at it and, and meditate again, then it hits me. So it's about being open to these energies, guys. So be ready for change. Be ready for good things and be ready to receive what you've been asking for. Ask not like you haven't got it. Ask like it's yours. I thank you now for what I have. 
that good things are coming, guys. And if we come together and we believe it together, it's going to happen. So I hope April's a wonderful month. And let's get to your reads. Hello, Aries. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your April tarot scope, big baby. What's up, sister fire sign? What's going on, baby? Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope you guys are doing super, super, super fun and And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so very much for giving me an opportunity to join with you. I give you nothing but high fives and high vibes, baby. Hopefully, you'll hit that like, that share, that damn damn dirty subscribe and become a part of this fam all right with that being said guys let's let's talk about the channeled energy that came in for you guys this month it is the ancestor of knowing we have the owl totem coming up for you i feel like you just know there's some things in your life that gotta go um before i tell you what the book says about this because i like to do some automatic reading um when i do this and also like look at the notes that i have written down i'm going to tell you what i'm feeling when i see it behind these cards there's some of you guys that know there's some things in your life that gotta go there's some transformation that's going to be taking place this month you're a little afraid of it because it's like unknown territory and you're afraid that if you make this decision you're going to get burned or you're going to get hurt and what your guide is trying to tell you is to release the fear you are the night eagle you see through the night you can see these things manifesting trust the energy that's coming in for you and your ancestors are drawing near to you okay you have the ability Aries this month to see what most cannot see I think Virgo got this too the power to extract secrets is also very important for you. You are going to be getting a lot of information coming into you. What you choose to do with that will be up to you. The owl is the bringer of death. Doesn't necessarily mean it's announcing that somebody is dying, okay? It's also like the death card does not mean people are dying. It means there's aspects that need to die in order for others to live. Whether that is a habit, whether it's an addiction, whatever it is, it's got to go, okay? And the owl is announcing that. It's trying to tell you to dig deep because these things are going to be revealed to you this month and you need to be ready and I like the way they kind of drew him they gave him like some really interesting energy I love the solar plexus energy that's coming off from him so be confident in the decisions that you're making this month okay that is your channeled energy from the shaman's oracle now, your power animal, not to be confused with your totem animal. I have to make that clarification. I'm not telling you your totem. I'm giving you the advice of the animal that came out to talk to you this month. It is mouse energy. What is so interesting, guys, is I dreamt a freaking mouse for like three nights in a row. And so I did a lot of research about mice. There's a lot of small things getting on your nerves right now, Aries. Okay? <laughs> Sit your ass down and calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, things are just getting on your nerves, okay? It's the little things in life. But you're missing the bigger picture. And I think that's why the owl, which is the mouse's predator, is coming to tell you, I'm going to take all that little shit out of your life and I'm going to make you live your life the way you should, okay? Because sometimes we let stress, we let, we let insecurities, we let all of this boo-boo caca take over us and doesn't let us live our life because we're afraid to move forward and this is for sun moon and rising okay so learn to pay attention to the details but don't be so overwhelmed by them that it stops you from uh, from doing what you need to do okay being aware being attentive this is also about cleaning out stuff i'm getting a lot of spring cleaning for everybody so make sure that everything is on the up and up you've cleared your energy you've cleared your house you've gotten rid of clutter all those extra papers those bills that you ain't even really gonna pay they might need to go on the trash, baby. Just shred that shit and don't even look at it. If you're not going to pay it and you got a different plan, do what you got to do. Don't keep looking at things that bring you stress. Now, if you don't pay your bills, you have consequences to pay. So you might not have lights when you come in. Do what's important. Pay attention to the details. If you're signing contracts this month, be very aware of the energy and be very aware of what you're reading and pay close attention to it. But be like the owl. Dig deep into that information, okay? Now, the spirit keeper of the west is coming in for you mentally once again solar plexus energy on top and this is about transformation i think that's part of the fear aries i get this feeling that you are about to step into the unknown and it's a little freaking scary over there so letting go of the old you know trusting that it's going to be okay trusting your heart interesting that it says that because you have anahata right there as your soul work this month so through chaos it's going to bring positive change but you kind of have to trust 
trust this trust this um the process is what i use a lot with my clients trust the process because in the process that's where you become great so like a lot of people think that i just picked up cards and was like oh hey let's do this no i did many months and many years of journaling many months and many years i would even sleep with my damn cards okay because i wanted them to give me messages didn't know that it even worked but i was willing to try it and it did it's about making your way your way and trusting the process okay now have i made mistakes yeah quite a few all right have i paid that price yeah i have okay but it does not stop me from doing what i want to do or what i feel i'm called to do sweep away the debris so that is like i'm just doing automatic reading when i'm looking at this okay so if you're wondering what automatic reading is because i've been saying it a lot is i will ask before i do a read even for my clients i don't like to i'll tell you what i initially feel and then I'm going to look at this to see if I missed anything. And the words will jump out to me. Some of the words that I tell you, they're not even in the same sentence. They're just different words that pop out to me. Okay? So that's what I mean by automatic reading. But the Spirit Keeper of the West wants you to slow down. Okay? Just release the past and allow the new to grow. But it's going to take some while for the new things to grow. And you're going to have some hiccups along the way, Aries. I know you're a fire sign. You like me. You want it now. You want it to be fast. You want it to be good. You want no one to tell you nothing. Okay? Trust the process, Aries. There's a long way to go. And I'm telling you, there's, very, there's a big significance about this being your channeled message and that being your animal. The mouse has got a message for you, but the owl is telling you, don't let the little shit this month pile up on you because you're missing the big picture. Dig deep and move forward, okay? Physically, you have Quan Yin, an ascended master, coming to this, coming to the rescue, baby. Dun, 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 dun. This is the bringer of birth, okay? Birth of a baby, birth of a dream, birth of a new beginning. But I want you to think about the lotus flower because that's what's really sticking out for me. The lotus flower on the bottom of the card comes from like the dirtiest water. From this shitty situation that you're about to clean up, Aries, is going to come something so beautiful, you got to trust the process. All that shit you went through a couple of months ago, probably around your birthday too, probably been going through it for a long time, you're wondering when it's going to stop, trust the process. Kuan Yin is coming in to bless you, and she has pearls of wisdom. You see that one pearl in her hand? I don't know if you can really get into the detail of it, but if you see right there in her hand, there it is, right? She's got that for you. Pearls of wisdom. The, uh, the, the surrounding rainbow around her is the promise that good things are yet to come. She's sitting on the lotus flower, but she's also got one in her hand reminding you that you too can rise above. Pay attention. Dig deep. All right? Now, spiritually, you have La Zebra, baby. Zebra's coming in for you, Aries. boo boo doo boo boo And behind it is how you're going to work with zebra energy. This says, let go of your fear and know that you're always safe and protected at all times. Yes, you are. You always are protected. Kuan Yin is even stepping in. You know, everybody loves them some Aries, even though y'all are hot-headed. I like to think that you just are very... um tenacious okay i like to say it tenaciously this is like doubts fears and uncertainties that's what the mouse is representing you gotta get rid of it let the owl get the mouse out okay it's gotta go call upon spirit helpers so some of y'all might pray to pray to god pray to jesus whoever it is that you pray to pray to your angels to your guides i don't know you need to call upon them this month and believe that they're pulling close to you trust your spirit guides and your instincts and your friends, Aries, okay, to watch out for you. You are being protected, but this is about guardianship, being alert, confidence, changes, agility, all the good things that you can think of, they're all coming your way, okay, Aries? Oh, I didn't pre-shuffle your deck. So I'm gonna shuffle while we're talking. No, I'll just wait, just wait. Now, the when I wanted to clarify Zebra, the cards that came out were from the Seeds of Shakti, okay? I love the deck too. Anahata is your heart space. Your fear is coming from your heart, heart space. Look at where the mouse is. They could have put the mouse anywhere, but they put him about around a lot of greenery because that's his heart. It's something very important to you. It's very close to you. So this is gonna be a time for you to focus on your heart space. And it's time to clear out that energy that is in your heart space. Now it's time to get rid of the fear. Wear more green, burn a green candle, do more things you love. Get a pet, <laughs> hug a child, hug a friend, feel warmth. Build up that dopamine. I mean that serotonin. Is it dopamine? I don't remember. I got confused right now. Just when I thought about it. Anyways, your heart space needs to be healed. Okay? We're working with heart space energy this month. And very rarely do the chakras come out like this very clearly. 
But even if you look at zebra, you see all that green? You see all that green? You see all this? Yes, that is your heart space. So singing bowl has came to show you how you can clear it. Some of y'all need to change what you're listening to. Even the voice in your head that's telling you bad, shitty stuff, it's got to go. Vibrations, singing bowls, um, sound healing, energetic flow, meditations. I have my chimes. I have chimes on my door. I got chimes everywhere just to kill that negative energy that tries to come through. Guys, protect yourself. You, you know, a lot of times we live in this 3D world and we don't believe that there's other things. There's other things, guys. Energy flows. For every action, there is a reaction. So being aware of that. But your heart space is your focus this month. Let's bless our cards. I have not pre-shuffled your cards, so give me a second. Saints to tell Bessie's cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of April. Oh, immediately. Thank you. I'm cutting the deck and I have, oh, look, more heart space energy, Aries. The magician, you are in freaking control of this situation. Drop the mask and let the healing begin with the three of arrows reversed. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Leo, okay? This might be an Aries Leo situation. Some of it might be an Aries Aquarian situation, just because of what those cards represent. Or maybe it's an Aquarius, or I get more Aquarius because of the magician and that. But whatever it is, the healing is ready to start. But are you willing to let those arrows fall out of your back so that you can move forward, okay? All right. I don't know what we're going to get, baby. Let's see what comes out for us, Aries. All right. First position. Seven of Wands. All up in your element. Ace of Disc. Awesome. Your spirit guide. There's that Kuan Yin energy coming in. Four of Pentacles. Looking amazing. Hermit Reversed. Seven of Pentacles. It's taking too damn long for you, Aries. You're so tired of waiting. <laughs> so we have the Seven of Wands coming in in the past situation, right? You had to have the courage to walk through something. Now, this is the death card actually right behind, right here. This is death. This is Arishkagal. And they're actually sisters, okay? Arishkagal and um, Ishtar. And she descends into the scariest parts of hell to go get what she's looking for, the answer she's looking for. I feel I feel like your confidence has risen, Aries. You're working on yourself. You're doing better. I don't know if it's a health regimen. I don't know what it is, but you're feeling better about yourself. And you've planted this seed of um, star seed. You've planted it and you're ready to go. You're feeling good. Things are working in your favor. Aries, this is amazing. It's about damn dirty time. I want to see what this ace of disc is about, though. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it this one? Let's make sure. Is it this one? Nope. Dog energy. Okay, so you realize, hey, I don't have to make everybody happy. I need to make myself happy because dog is in the way. And dog is telling you, you're serving too many masters. You're being faithful to too many things. You need to look at where your loyalties stand. You need to look who's loyal to you. Who's using you? Who's abusing you? And who's, who's really helping you? Okay? Now, the dog energy is about loyalty. This is like, why are you being loyal to people who aren't loyal to you? This is going to be one of those transformation months for you. You're going to start seeing, man, this person's really been good to me. Even though, like, I don't really like them that much, they're really good, and I should probably be nicer to them. That kind of thing. And it's not that you're a bad person, Aries. I think that you're very focused on what you want. The hidden influence is coming in from your lion-headed guide. These are very strong guides. This is the carib of wands. This is the one with the sexy calves, baby. You're looking good, Aries. You're on hot fire. You are moving towards what makes you happy. Now, the carib of wands is coming in to bless you. You notice that he's behind in that diamond because you were a piece of coal that had to be compressed to become a diamond. So all that shit you went through has made you wonderful, illuminescent, like gorgeous. And now you're going to flourish, okay? Sun, moon, or rising. Remember that. I want to see the message from the guide. Mm. Okay. Wants to come from the tarot deck. I had to pick which one, which one do I want to shake it over? Mm -hmm. All right. Holy hell, you got two guides working for you. Just know that financially things are going to get better. You have the carob of action and the carob of money coming in for you. Damn, I don't know about 
with you, but let's see what they got for you. Not there. Not there. Not there. Is it a secret? I'm, it might be a damn dirty secret. Oh, look, Isis wants to talk to you. You have two guides coming in, Aries. Holy moly. I swear, this is like the card that always comes out for me, no matter how hard I shuffle. This is what they want for you to do. This is a hidden influence. The more you speak things into existence and you got sound healing twice, that is important for you this month. You have got ancient powers of mysteries. This is all about sound healing. This is the, the uh, rattle of Isis. You have singing bowls. That's how you're gonna heal your heart. You need to, you need to, I need to not say that. A great way to do that is to get Reiki. You can listen to Reiki for free. You can go to a Reiki healer. You can start listening to good affirmations. You can start putting that energy out there. Know that your words are strong and your prayers are being heard. Damn, Aries. It's about damn time. You are seeing things so much clearly now. Just know that your words carry weight and the way you speak to others is the way they will speak to you. So be impeccable with your word. I'm being drawn to the Don Miguel cards real quick. What will help Aries? Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get through your read, and I'm super excited. What will help Aries this month with their words? Don't take things personally. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Don't engage. And that's what the dog is telling you. Don't engage in that shit. You ain't got to call. come to everybody that comes to calling you, okay? Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. Clarify before you react, Aries. That's going to help you. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will already know the truth. And that is what it's trying to tell you. That is what your two guides are trying to tell you is you don't have to buy the bullshit. You don't have to. Rise higher. Like they say, vibrate higher. Change your focus. You have power in your words this month, Aries. You have strength. Use it, okay? Now, the the advice is the four of pentacles. And even though I'm going to tell you this, for me, this is build up your home and build up your bank. Don't tell anybody what you're doing this month. And make sure that you're, you're doing it for the good, okay? That you're building it up because you have good dreams. You have, you know, you're going to use it for something positive. You're not going to break no one down. You're not going to hurt nobody because sometimes we let revenge get in the way. No revenge this month, Aries. This is all love and light. I'm seriously, I know you're probably like, damn, bitch, shut up. It can't be all that good. No, you're transforming and you're changing. That's the thing. Two spirit guides in a row coming out to tell you ancient powers of mysteries that the ancient rattle of mysteries has come to you it's telling you to vibrate higher it's telling you to use that that sound healing sound healing is huge for you this month your heart space will thank you for it your home will be better your finances will be better and let's see how we're going to make it better all right wisdom of the oracle sorry guys i am talking a lot today i already had a nosebleed damn i'm having all kinds of stuff sometimes when i channel my nose will bleed that's crazy. Awesome. Perfect. Exchanging of gifts. That's the advice. Stop giving your stuff to people who aren't giving it back to you. There has to be equal reciprocation. This is also a number nine. It's telling the dog, hey, stop doing all that stuff for them. They're not even helping you. You got to be more like a cat. Be a little bit more picky. Don't be giving it all away. Think outside of the box. You are a gift to the universe. Treat yourself like the gift that you are and don't unwrap yourself for everyone and don't take the bullshit that they're giving you. You're better than that, Aries. And that's why you're feeling like it is not coming to you, but it really is. Now, moving into this, the outcome is the, the, uh, another nine. Some of y'all are moving. I have two nines right next to each other. You're moving on, you're moving out. Somebody's moving. So... This hermit reverse, I'm going to tell you, some of you need to stand your ground and kind of go within. Being the hermit reverse isn't a very negative thing. It's about going within yourself and figuring out what do I really want? Is this what I really want? I think it is. And then you're going to make your decision. I also feel like you need to protect your home and your gifts because there's leeches out there. I call them human parasites. They don't even know they're sucking you dry, but they are. So protect your energy and speak impeccably with your word. I want to clarify that one. Okay. Coming from my head of What? Oh, 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 ooh. Both. 
Holy hell. And he's going to tell me both of them. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, Aries, there's something about sound this month. You got the sound card. Once again, sound healing. And this card came out and it said to do both of them. Reflection. Reflect on the words that you're putting out. Reflect on that story. You can change the narrative. Pull away from everybody. Make sure that's what you want. Around the time of the new moon, which is April 14th, it's going into Scorpio. This is the time of change. Now, remember, we have a full moon on the 30th. No, the full moon is in Scorpio. Sorry. The new moon is in Aries. Around that time, you are going to want to become more independent. You're going to go and you're going to do new things. Speak it into existence. I'm telling you, there's something about your words. Around the full moon, you're going to come and you're going to know exactly what you want to do and how you want to do it. It's going to be an emotional thing because it's in Scorpio and it's working with your heart space, okay? So pay attention to the energies that are coming around at that time. Pay attention to the music that you're listening to. Change it. If you're listening to a lot of music that makes you feel uh, amped up and like ready to hurt somebody, you might want to change that to a lot softer music or maybe balance it out. Pay attention attention if you see coming out his third eye there's light coming out of his mouth there's light that's the chakras coming out of here there's light okay speak what you want into existence say it reflect say it reflect pull away from those people who don't who are trying to tell you how to live and that's what dog is telling you too okay my battery is about to die so let me let me hurry this up before it cuts off now the overall energy that I have for your retrogrades coming in is from gelling. And on the 22nd is the Pluto, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. And with this, I'm going to use the past. So whatever's caused you to be afraid in the past, just acknowledge your fears that they're no longer welcome. They can't live with you anymore. And how realistic are they? Make the sacrifices needed today in order to remove the unwanted companions from your journey. The bottom of the card is Odin on his eight-legged horse named Sletner, okay? They used to venture into the underworld and they were the first Azer gods, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is you don't need to be afraid. That is just unnecessary fear. So around the 22nd, those things are gonna come up and you're gonna realize, I don't wanna deal with this shit anymore. I got something better. Now, on the 17th, we have the Saturn retrograde in Capricorn again. Look at what Capricorn signifies for you. And this is the middle world. So. I'm going to tell you like Saturn would tell you, okay? What do you need to change in your life and what are you overthinking? You know, you're only one way of thinking things. There's other ways to think them. What are you afraid of? Have you agreed to something that's not your truth to protect yourself and others or to keep the peace? This is a time of transition, of seeing the world from a new perspective. And if you want something new, Aries, you need to start using your voice to get it. And you need to stop saying okay to things that aren't okay with you because it's damn dirty time that you get what you want and get what you deserve because you deserve to be happy too. So speak those things into existence and move forward. And then this is your Saturn gets up all dramatic as fuck, slams the door, <laughs> and he goes outside, and he's waiting for you, Aries, and he probably waits a couple of weeks because, you know, you take a long time because you're a hothead, too, and you probably tried to cut him off a few times while he was telling you this, and then finally you realize, oh, wait, you got a point, and you go out and you have a discussion, and you say, you know what, I'm going to reflect on that, and I'm going to take that information, and I'm going to put it to work because, Aries, you are all about work. Now, the, the third position is your blessing. It's Jupiter, and it's the possibilities that can happen. And it's telling you, during all these transitions, during all of this time, this is where you're actually going to find out if your beliefs are yours or they were handed down to you and where your roots stand. And that's what's going to bring your heart space joy. And that's what's going to change the feeling around your home and the feeling in your finances. So, Aries, that is your read. Big, big hugs. Lots, lots of love, guys. If you're interested in a personal or private read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com. My battery's about to die. Sorry I had to cut my Saturn reenaction really short because I had more to give you. <laughs> and if you'd like to get a video read, remember that on the 15th, they are no longer on sale and they will be back to regular price. So hit me up before then. And I hope to have these out by tonight. Love you guys. Be blessed. And most of all, Aries, Take your time. You deserve greatness too. Love you.